Queen Mary Ocean Liner. And as you can see at the moment, I've got the LEDs finely placed in the bottom of the hull here. And I've um, thread them through the little gaps I left in these supports here. And I've joined them, I've soldered them two pieces, two strips together. And as you would have seen in the previous part nine video. And what I've done is I've got this uh, Gorilla Tape. It's a soft but really good strong tape. And I'm just taping that down here, particularly over the connections where I've soldered, just to make sure that they are not going to come loose. Um, I've noticed that these um, LED strips have a, a 3M tape backing to, to stick them down, but they don't stick down real well. I'm noticing there's some spots that don't want to stick down and we certainly don't want these coming loose in here um, particularly when you're going through rough seas so what I've done is I've taped that down all tight got the wire down tight sorry so you can see on here it's so long I can't fit it <laughs> underneath in one camera shot and what I will do now is at the back here I'll put some tape across here obviously not covering the LEDs but just to give it a bit more um, strength to stay down. I'll cut some thin strips and put a couple uh, in multiple intervals along the stripping there as well just to make sure it's not going to come out and move at all. Um, but yeah it's all gone well. We've got our power wires running to the center which is where our power is coming through. If I can touch this here there we go and uh, How's that? Yeah, showing up all right on camera. So there's our lights lighting up. So what I will also do most likely is um, a bit further on in the build, the next deck that goes across here will also have a strip of lights go in it. And what I will probably do is to get power to that strip of lights, I'll run either the wire down here and solder it onto this um, the, the two pins here or I may go in here where I've extended the wires from once again you can't see <laughs> uh, I'll go into here I'll take this just electrical tape off and connect them there which may be easier so I can run run those along and uh, yeah so we've got it's coming quite well there you'll see their power connection in the bottom there which will be hidden under the stand and uh, yeah there it is all right so I'm just gonna go finish um, I'm just gonna solder these two to our power permanently um, or I might just leave them off for now. I might just solder one on there and just leave the other one off for the moment. And uh, yeah, so, all right. So if you're just watching this video for the first time, um, please subscribe and go back and have a look at all my other videos of other my all my other ship builds and back through the series on this playlist from the unboxing right along. And uh, And it's great to have new people along and uh, like I always say, uh, got any comments or questions or suggestions, just um, type them down in the bottom for me. And um, yeah, I'll, I'll get on with this. I'll do, um, what am I gonna do actually? Uh, let me check. Yeah, I'll just finish wiring this up and then uh, we'll come and have a look at uh, what next needs to be done. Okay, back shortly. Hello, welcome back. So, I'd like to just uh, show you um, one of the ways that I'm going to use to add lighting up on the deck to different areas, um, particularly for the pool. So, what we've got here is, well, as you can see, it's nighttime here and I've got all the lights out so we can see. 
and this here is a little piece of the fiber optics that I've got. Now I've actually got a hundred meters of this stuff. <laughs> I think, I, well I know I've accidentally bought too much. Um, I bought the stuff wholesale really cheap and what I might end up doing is selling it off 10 meters in a roll uh, on eBay because this stuff is really expensive and I got it really cheap. <laughs> but anyway, so what I'm doing is um, just showing you how this is going to work. So as you can see, the, it's all lit up inside my LEDs. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my hand over the top here because you just imagine that my the deck is here. So let's imagine the deck is here. I'll run the fiber optic just down into the lit, lit area and then we'll look at the end of it. Now, you can see that? See how the lights come through? I'm trying to get this to, in fact, I don't even have to put my hand there, as long as it go into a dark area. There we go. So you can see that the light is transferred up into the top of the fiber optic. And the idea is to put that in the bottom of the swimming pool to create lights in the pool and if I want to put little lights on the walls around uh, on the deck levels I can use that um, so yeah and all it is is just simply having the LED down in the hull and then there you go there it just brings the light up so what I'll be doing is on the rear of the ship I have space as usual, you can move this across. So, on the rear, should I say, the stern of the ship um, is where the pool will be. So, what I will do is have my light just poking down like that, and then there it is just that little light which will come up into the bottom of the pool, and you'll see that that'll add the little light light up the pool. I'll have probably four, one in each corner of the pool, maybe one or two in the little um, spa pools that we have, and wherever else. So that's how I plan to um, have lights around on the ship. Um, not sure how much I will do or to what extent. Um, I'll have to have a look at the actual ship itself and see what uh, what I can and can't do. But yeah, you know, I mean, these can be bent quite a bit too. You know, you can get quite a, a bent shape in this. And as long as that one end is in the lid area, you, you're always going to have that little light at the end. Okay. So there you go. That's how that's going to work. All right. Back shortly. Okay. Welcome back, guys. So I've got my um, base here for the acrylic case I'm getting made up I've covered in bubble wrap <laughs> uh, what I've also done is I put that final coat on the base well the stand actually on the stand so that's come up nice and I put a clear coat over it um, so that's gonna be good and that'll um, then I'll put the decal on the front here which I may as well do we'll we'll see I'll have a look at that but there we go that's all painted up so that'll sit under our ship um, what else have I been doing oh and also just get the instructions here so like I said earlier we're going to be working on this section here and as I showed you with the lights going up into the pool area um, the base of this is going to be, um, uh, no, I'm looking at the wrong part. That I'm just leaving for the moment. I've skipped ahead to 14 and I've painted uh, this. So I undercoated it and then I did this section in white and I've just done the grey which goes on the foredeck there. The same grey uh, goes on the on this section here so you can see where it's got G 
which I've just painted. I'll let those dry. Um, and the white bits in B, um, I've taped them up. Um, I also did the stairs on the back. Everything else on here is going to be covered in the wood decking, so I don't need to worry about painting that. And that's what all the H is. If you didn't have the wood decking, you would be painting that de deck brown. Um, that the back section of that won't be seen because it sits under here, which sits on top of it. Again, K there is uh, an area that will have decking over it. I think yes, yes, I'm pretty sure there's decking over that as well. Um, I'll, I'll just double check that. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so we'll be back again. And we'll have another look at. We'll have a look at those painted bits that I just did. Cheers. Okay, so here's um, the bit I just sprayed that uh, I thought I'd show you. Um, this is the piece on the bow here, just that nice grey. Um, and I've only just painted that, you know, 15 minutes ago, but I don't like leaving tape on longer than I need to. It's really only there for when you're spraying. So we'll take that off straight away. And hopefully we'll get a nice straight edge uh, on that which we have so there we go that's come up really good I'll put that aside and let that dry properly uh, on this deck area here we got this part where I think these are all parts of the um, lifeboat system um, cranes that sit in there that's the only grey area on the side of the deck and again um, probably an idea to I can take this off now and again hopefully have a nice straight edge side off actually I'll, I'll do that off camera because that'll just be the same um, on the other end the front here so this part you can see will sit on top of this so that's going to go over the top of that like that and that part there was white so we kept that bit white and that part there is white. Oops, sorry. I'm trying to do this on camera, not off camera. Uh, we've got this part of more, it's like a breakwater, I think. Um, that's got to come off like that. Oh, yes, that's good. And this one. Yep. Yeah, it's come up nice. Uh, also, all around, you can see, get my tweezer poking device. Um, so, around the side of that was to be left white, and I put tape all around that. So, hopefully, well, I don't have to say hopefully, I know it will be all right. That'll come off the back. This piece will come off the back of there. Um, this. Let me just adjust the camera so I'm doing this where I can see what I'm doing. Back in a sec. Okay, that's a lot better. Um, so, let me get some of this off here. Just peel this off. It was pretty tricky getting all, getting this uh, Tamiya tape on here. But I'm pretty sure it's going to be good. Come off. There we go. It's a nice edge on that. Um, take that piece. Yeah. Look 
good. It's always uh, pleasing when you get a good result after after taping up stuff. This uh, can come off now. It's just stopping any overspray we didn't want. I'm not worried about that overspray you see there because that's all going to be decking. The wood decking will go down and cover that anyway. Not a problem. So, there we go. Nothing needed to touch up on that. It's good. Now, this area here, there's, it doesn't show you any color, but that's actually, um, uh, I think, as far as I can tell, the color of the hull. And it most likely got something to do with the anchor. And the little bits on there, get in close. Hopefully that'll zoom in. Come on, focus for me. Yeah. So there's a couple little pieces on the deck there. I'm not too sure of the colours of. But again, um, I can hand paint them after I look at some reference photos to see what what exactly they are. Um, so yeah, that, that's come up good. And of course that... I look what that's going to be like. Uh, yeah, so that'll go on top of that. Like that. Okay, so far so good. Um, I'll take the tape off the other end here and uh, we'll come back and look at what we're going to work on next. Cheers. Okay, welcome back. So I've been looking at what else needs doing on the front of here and there's some wood decking that can go down at this stage because it's... Um, not going to get in the way because I have the um, ultimate or platinum edition which came with wood decking and all the photo etch and railings um, then some of this would be best to put on now before um, this whole piece gets attached onto the ship which is um, only a couple of steps away now there's a hell of a lot of um, brass photo etch and all sorts of bits and pieces including decking that needs to go on this and it'd be much easier to do separately like it is here so what I'm thinking of doing right now is these sections here if you can see we've got this curved piece here this piece in here will go on here in that area in there which when I looked at the picture and there's a picture here that comes with all the photo etch you'll see that it's actually the piece that's under this assembly here so this whole piece here will cover it so when you look through the windows you'll actually see the decking down on the bottom there um, which I'm surprised that they even went to the trouble of doing um, because you know usually areas out of sight like that covered by other pieces are not going to have any decking in there but all good I will now if you also look at this you'll see that there's also a railing that runs all the way around there and I'm fairly sure that the 
kit um, doesn't include that railing so that's an extra piece which will be good because that is actually there on the ship so that piece of railing will go on there's also a couple of pieces here that need to be made up of photo edge hang on a second we've got the local street hoons make a noise in their cars um, so these little pieces here need to be made up and I'm assuming will be painted white but I'll have to check and actually see what in fact they even are um, then there's um, some other little railing pieces so there they are there there's those two pieces that need to be made up there then we got these that go around the spare um, propeller or shaft pieces there so these bits of photo etch need to be taken off and bent into shape um, there's 16 of those because there's they go if you look here this shows you uh, this side of it this is the next piece of wood decking which will go on the base will go on the deck and that one there as well and those are all uh, little rails that go around uh, those fins that stick up on there. I know I'm not naming things properly, but you know what I mean. <laughs> so it's basically all this area here that we need to work on and put some decking down and photo etch. The photo etch railings are a bit of a concern for me because previously in my builds of battleships and so forth, the, all the railings are grey. All right, easy. They're all the same color as the ship, and they're quite easy to paint. In some cases, you paint them uh, while after they're already put in place. Um, these railings, on the other hand, are all white. So all the railings on this ship are white. Well, most of them. I know there's some chrome ones around the pool, but most of these railings, these ones, are going to be all white with the very top railing is going to be brown because it has to be wood and I know how um, you know how thin railing is I'm not sure how I'm going to I mean I can spray them white no problem I'd rather airbrush them white rather than hand paint them so I know I can airbrush them white but I will have to hand paint that top rail, which is supposed to represent uh, a wooden, I think it's a teak um, rail, which is around the top. Now for that, I bought my Posca pens for, and that's the actual brown that I'm going to do it. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm not too sure if how I'm gonna it's it's very difficult because um, to give you an idea just one sec I'll be back in a second I'll show you okay so as you can see here this is the kit supplied railing now this may not be the section I'm gonna do but it, it's all pretty much the same size and everything so that's the thickness of them these they're quite um, thick and the other thing is they're already white which is pretty handy um, but I'd paint them anyway um, so those are the kit railings you can see them there and they actually look quite good um, I don't think they're out of scale I think they look they look alright now you compare those to the photo etch railing and look how much thinner that is and then I have to paint it and then somehow I need to paint just the top rail the different color to the rest of it so yeah uh, it's gonna be gonna be tricky I'm sure the photo etch will look better um, so I will probably be best to go with the photo etch um, and use all these railings. Anyway, 
<laughs> uh, for the moment I'm going to do the decking I'll put the decking down to start with and um, the railing is something that I know I can do if I wanted to after the deck's been attached to the ship um, but we'll see it, it's very um, confusing sometimes to figure out the order of doing things so even though you might want to go from step 13 14 and 15 and get things on because this has platinum edition with all these extra bits and pieces it's not that uh, simple <laughs> but um, yeah so I'll put that aside for now I'll put the railings aside for now and uh, we'll get some of this decking down on here I think that'll be a good thing and there's one other thing I want to do too is on the actual ship um, and I'll put a photo up so you can see there's some lights up here. Now I can't imitate all the lights that are up there. That was, that's just going a bit too far. But um, let me just find something to point with. <laughs> right, so in that corner in there and in this corner, there's a couple of lights and they just sort of shined that deck area a little bit. So what I'm thinking of doing is drilling two little holes in the bottom of there and running some fiber optics and putting a fiber optic in each little corner there so we have some light um, being played out on that deck there all right anyway that can be done also after the decking so the decking is the next thing to do on this little bit okay back shortly enough talking okay so what I've done here is I've stuck in that one so this first piece here is glue is it comes with a adhesive backing so that's all stuck down now I cut off the next two pieces which will go in here so that's gonna sit in there and you'll and the white gap is actually the um, part that goes up to the bridge so that will fit in between there so that you won't see so I will be sticking down that and then I found this piece here that sits in the front this piece comes in and sits in there nicely and then there's this gap down the center and I thought well what's that so I had a look on the instructions and I'm trying to see where it what it is and you know the instructions are showing me right so where is it so so there it is there running under there and there's a there's another picture of it here running under there and then I found it here and I couldn't find any reference to what number it is or what it is so I went to some real footage of the ship, which I'll put a picture up in the top corner there and you can look at and you can see it there. So it's gold colored steel, which is good because that means that I won't have to paint it. I'll just leave it the color the photo edge is and it runs along. And then when I look closer and I don't know, it's hard to see, but there's a number there, which is 111. So I found our piece 111 and if you can see that because I couldn't but right in there is number 111 and it's gonna sit down in there that's fine problem is that if I sit that in there and glue it down to the plastic deck there then there's gonna be like a step because this wood decking is higher and it's just not going to look like it does in that real in that picture of the real thing so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get find a spare bit of wood deck I'm probably just cut a small strip off the side off an edge somewhere some spare decking um, you know probably off here just to the right length I need and I'll lay that down in there 
so that it's going to sit flush with the rest of the deck and then I can glue the photo edge down on top of it um, and it'll all sit flush that's that's the only way um, otherwise it's going to sit there and this deck is going to be higher and it'll look nothing like it does in the real on the real ship so that's my solution to that problem but it's getting late in the afternoon now and I'm going to leave that till tomorrow and uh, we'll come back and, and we'll have a look these are also little pieces that will have to come off I'll take them out um, that's where those um, <laughs> I don't even know what they're called um, they're like um, I don't know what are they <laughs> they're part of the propellers they're the, um, the props and they're just the individual blades anyway we'll have a look at those back shortly okay so we're back now and I've got all these stuck down now um, so all these pieces are stuck in and for that piece there we've got I've cut this little strip here which will fit in there and obviously once the plastic backing's off it that'll go in there and that will be the base for the um, uh, photo etch strip to sit on so that it'll look much better than, than it would otherwise yeah all right it's nice to be doing a little bit of detail work for a change and having some progress happen on this okay we'll be back in a sec so as you can see I've got the strip uh, photo edge strip in there now and uh, it's glued down a couple of clamps there to hold it I'm just going to leave that overnight just to make sure it's all glued up properly and um, yeah it's worked out really well it's sitting there nicely so we'll just leave that there till the morning okay back shortly okay hello welcome back so it's the next day I've taken the clamps off the metal photo etch that ran along there and as you can see it's stuck in place and it's nice and flush with the deck and it's just perfect just as I wanted it so that come up really good now what I'm also looking at is um, what else I need to do here um, before too much structure goes on um, now I was going to paint these up and maybe put the anchor there and stuff but that's way off in step 80 something and I don't really need to do that now so I'm just going to leave that and when we get to it we'll get to it but I do want to stick with the decking so what I've looked at doing is doing the decking that runs all the way along the length here basically it runs all the way on both sides now to be kept to be sure that it would be okay because and fit properly in here is where these balconies go and they have little tabs under here that go into those little holes there now what I found was that this side which I think is this one yes this one um, pops in there nicely um, yeah trust me it fits in this side really well which means that when I put the um, decking on there'll be just the right amount of gap for this to sit in the back there and those tabs will fit in the holes not a problem but then there's the other side which is the opposite of another problem is that a lot of these tabs are all misshaped um, if you remember I had to redo all these holes in here and, and clean them all up because they weren't uh, there was a lot of flashing on there bits of plastic uh, on there I had to recut them out um, same with this side uh, these are not right so when I try to put those in yeah it's just not a case of them slotting straight on and going in there um, 
which means these will all have to be tidied up. As it turns out, this was the same side where I had a lot of flashing on the backs of all these windows. It had to be cleaned up. So for some reason, one side of the ship is a really um, awkward fit to the other side of the ship. <laughs> um, it's like, I don't know, something in the manufacturing. It's like half the sprue come out alright, the other side come out with all sorts of flashing and uh, a lot of cleanup needed. So what I'm basically going to have to do is go through and tidy these holes up even more, um, fix or get all these all neat and tidy, all the little tabs, so that it all sits there flush. And once I know that it's going to sit in there when it comes time to put that on, um, I'll also know that once with the decking on there, uh, it's not going to get in the way and we have problems. So yeah, so I'm going to do the decking. Um, today I got the quote for the case, the acrylic case. I dropped off the wooden base today and uh, the uh, owner of the company texted me back and said 100 bucks. So I gave him a thumbs up. I said go for it. So 100 bucks for the meter long case for this ship. Sounds like a great deal to me. So I don't know when it'll be ready, but anyway, we'll be seeing that in the next video. I'm going to end this video here because it's getting a bit long. Um, in the next video, obviously, we'll, we'll have a look at the case. I'm sure I'll have it by then. Um, and we'll also be putting on this decking along here. And um, yeah, just going through the extra features of all the photo etch and just making sure that there's anything I need to do. We'll probably end up doing something here too. There's bits of photo etch and stuff that needs to go on this area here. Um, so as long as if I can put it on without it being in the way of fitting anything else I, I will. Uh, it just seems to be easy to work on things like this rather than trying to work on this when it's glued onto the ship itself which you can't see but it's it is here I've actually had to make more room on the uh, workbench slash dining table <laughs> anyway like I said we will finished up the video here um, as usual please um, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed um, go back and watch part one and the unboxing and catch up if you haven't already um, you can see where we're up to um, I noticed there's a few people in comments have no, that have bought the ship now and that are uh, following on and getting an idea of what's ahead of them and that's the idea of what the video is about so uh, it's good to hear from those people and, um, and how they're going and I hope I um, do offer a bit of insight into what you can expect uh, and what little, little tricks and tips along the way as we build this. Um, Give us a thumbs up if you like the video and subscribe below. Um, sorry, subscribe. Always subscribe, but comment below, please. Comments are welcome. Um, I read all your comments. I try and answer all your comments. And I'm after any advice and tips. I've had a lot of advice and a lot of the tips have been very helpful. Thank you all. And um, I'll see you in what will be part 11 of this video. Uh, Queen Mary build. Okay, until then, bye for now.